friends, it's Janelle from Classroom A, and today we are going to make a climbing spider. Well, first, let me let you know that in Classroom A, we've been talking about bugs and insects, and we found out today that spiders are not an insect. Insects have three body parts and six legs and often have antenna and sometimes have wings. Spiders have two body parts and eight legs. And they are not called insects, they are called arachnids. They are part of a different family. And so today we're gonna to make a climbing spider. You can use any color paper, but I, I'm gonna do mine in black. And you'll need a straw, a pencil, scissors, glue. We're gonna use some tape. But you can just use the glue, but glue takes a while to dry. And I need some things that are a circle. So I decided to look around my house and I found a cup that has a circle and a little roll of tape. It's a little circle, maybe three different sizes. And I decided to use another. They're all one big, medium, and small for my spider body and my spider eye. So, I'm going to take the objects I found from around my house, and I'm going to trace them. And the smaller one, I'm going to trace the smaller one. So, I did my tracing, can you see? And then I have my white paper, I'm going to do for the eye, the little circle. And I need two of them, I have two eyes, to put on my spider. And then I need strips. So I'm just gonna cut the paper and make strips. And I'm gonna make four strips. One, two, three, four. Now you see how you can use a ruler if you want, or you can just cut. Now I have four, but we said a spider has eight legs, right? Well, then I'm going to fold these in half. I'm going to fold them in half like that. And I'm just going to cut. And now, let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight legs. Four for each side of the body. All right. So now I'm going to put my body together. I have my big circle and my medium. And I'm going to glue, got my glue stick. I'm going to glue my body on. Like that. And now I'm going to cut out my eye. And I also put little black dots in mine for eyeball. And I'm going to place my eyes on. Now I have the leg. And what I decided to do, I decided to do the accordion fold for my leg. You don't have to. You can just put your glue your legs on straight. But I thought it might look be fun. Yeah, cool. Remember, over and under, we did the accordion fold. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to put some legs on. One, two, three, I need some more glue, four, and I got to do the other side, right? So it's symmetrical, four on each side, one, two, Three, let's do the cream fold over and under. Four. I have eight legs. Oh, isn't he cute looking? Look at that spider. All right, now we have the straw. And I'm going to cut two pieces of the straw about an inch long. You can use your ruler for this if you want, or you can just act. 
Okay, they're about the same size. And I'm gonna place them on my spider in the middle, parallel to each other. And we use the tape. I'm gonna do one at a time here. One piece, and I'm gonna put the other piece. If I make a straight, right? Now, the yarn, we have yarn. Remember, we're gonna make a climbing spider. So, I'm gonna move some things out of the way here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the, just the yarn through the top one of the straw and you're going to do the other side too and you're gonna... if you have a little trouble if you have a little trouble feeding it you can always just cut a little bit off so it's not falling apart and weave it through there you go go faster and you're going to pull it all the way through and make sure that it's even. Okay. Now, my friend, let's watch our spider climb. I have a little hook up on my wall, but you can use um, a doorknob or a dresser drawer. And I'm going to hang it over like this. Can you see that? And I'm going to let it come down. Hold on to it so it doesn't come out. And there's a spider. And now watch the spider climb. You just pull it out and he climbs up. And then, whoops. And then you fall down. You know, the poem, the Issy Bissy Spider, the Issy Bissy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and what happened? Why does spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again so that my friend is how to make a climbing spider try it at home watch this video and do it step by step and try it at home and have fun singing the itsy bitsy spider i'll have more videos for you later bye